Hi, I'm Sarah Gray, Zoom Associate with Socially Shared, and I'm absolutely delighted to be joined today by Sarah Kershaw from My Extra Colleague. Morning, Sarah. Hi. Lovely to see you today. So I know a little bit about you and My Extra Colleague, but perhaps you could just tell me in detail what your business is all about. Well, My Extra Colleague offers secretarial and admin support um and event and project management as and when you need it um either regularly or on an ad hoc basis and i'm happy to come out and work with you at your place of work or alternatively i work from home oh that's brilliant i think um for people running their own businesses we have so many things that we need to be a, a jack of all trades for that to have somebody like yourself that we can call upon either i think it's great to be having you know either an ad hoc or a you know a more regular um, option that's really great what what do you find makes up the most of part of your business is it the regular or? um a mixture of both i tend to find that it's more regular and um but i'm happy with ad hoc so when we mean ad hoc it might be once every two or three months or uh, regularly might be once a week um it, it's to suit really so yeah. people sometimes book me for so many hours um, in a month or alternatively yeah it'll be a one-off job but I'm finding that often the one-off jobs then will come back um, and I'm doing something else and so it turns into sort of a regular I yeah and realize the value that you can provide for us that's fantastic yeah I've, um, really nice I did um, I organized a workshop in July for a client and she's just come back to me now to say right we're on to the one for next year so can you do that for me again so that's really nice and um Another client who I organised a big event with last September has come back to me, came back to me in midsummer to say, we're doing another one in December, please work with me on that. So yeah, that was that's oh, really nice. Brilliant. And it's, it's lovely, isn't it, to have those repeat clients as well as, as, well as new ones. So it's, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yes. Yeah, because you're building up a relationship with that, with that client then. And how long have you been in business, Sarah? Um, just over two years now yeah so um and, and i do i do love it obviously as you appreciate it can be a roller coaster can't it um, <laughs> yeah. and the highs can be really high and the lows can be quite low but um no on the whole i'm really yeah really excited by it and really enjoy it oh that's that's great i think when you have that passion about your business it, it shines through doesn't it it's it's really fantastic yeah. and so yeah. where's, where's that passion come from what you know what sort of inspired you to start your own business um well, I've always, my career has always been as a PA and secretary. Um, and then before I finished for maternity leave, I ran a serviced office facility. So I've always worked for a group of people, a variety of people. Um, and then obviously, you know, children life takes over, but I always dipped back into this and, and kept, um, kept up my um, secretarial work. And then we had our own business for a while and I ran that, which I loved. So when when that finished I went back into normal workplace but I was desperate to get back out and work for myself and do what I used to do yeah a couple of years ago an opportunity came up and I thought I'll go for it and uh, go back to what I love doing and working for myself Fantastic. so I think once you've worked for yourself it's really hard yes to go back go to back yeah I think you're right there yeah, yeah. and so you, and you're bringing all those skills that you had from all those years ago to people every day so it's fantastic isn't it yeah and so um, is that something that you would say is one of your sort of unique aspects of having those, you know, you used to call them traditional skills, but that, is that something that you consider to be quite unique these days? Um, possibly. I, I don't know. I'm a very, um, I get quite not involved with my client. I, I, I really want to look after them. Yeah. And I'm a bit of a mother hen. I think that's coming from having younger brothers is that I, I really like to look after people quite personally. I'm very loyal. and. Um, I really I want to do lots of different things for them as well. So um, I think perhaps, um, yeah, perhaps that's one of my being old fashioned, but it's, it's very personal service that I offer. And I get really, really, um, I want to work hard for clients. We get quite close to them. And that's like a huge, it. huge value and, and widely appreciated. I'm, I have no doubt. So that's, that's really great. Thank you. So what's been your sort of most, proudest moment would you say in business I think as you've mentioned before we have the ups and the downs and the highs and the lows and but we do have proud moments too don't we and what would you say was one of yours yeah. I think probably um in this business one of the proudest moments is when I got my own client 
not a referred client. So I found a client and nurtured them myself and they, they got to know me rather than someone say, Sarah's who you need. You know, how, for referrals are fantastic and that's, that's absolutely brilliant. But actually the first client I got completely off my own back from nurturing them myself was probably a really, you know, it was a really proud moment. And, and oh, things like the first invoice and the first yeah. to account are always great, aren't they? But yes. at the moment, that's probably one of the proud moments. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. That's such a great feeling, isn't it? When you've, when you've yeah. made that achievement. Yeah, brilliant. And um, I always think it's quite funny if we could, if we could sort of switch the cameras off and say, what was our funniest thing that's happened to us? <laughs> you know, um, that we might not talk about when we're out networking or something, but actually, you know, we've had, we do get quite funny moments sometimes, don't we, in business? And can you think of one that might be entertaining um, I, for you? I was, yeah, I'm trying to think of a funny moment. I haven't, I don't know. I mean, me... <laughs> Getting lost and doing all those sorts of things, uh, I guess, are, you know, when you have yeah. a little joke to yourself and you're winging it. Um, but I had a, a, one of my sort of probably an exciting moment was I had to um, handle Jose Mourinho at the airport. One of my clients is based at the airport and, mm -hmm. um, and they, I, they're cargo handlers, so, um, but they do handle passengers and they call me in to, to uh, organise that sometimes. So, um, yeah, meeting and dealing with him was, was, an, was a fun moment and exciting yeah. And I think every single thing that, that you do, we learn, you know, you learn from, don't you? And, you know, what, what would be your sort of advice for somebody starting a fresh business and coming into something, working for themselves new? What would be your key piece of advice? I'm sure there's many, but. <laughs> yeah, um, this is a bit like do what I don't do what I do, do as I say. Type thing. Yeah. Um, have, have confidence in your strengths. And don't look at us as and think, oh God, I can't do that, so I'm not going to be any good. Go, you've obviously got the strengths to think I can do this on my own. And you've obviously got a skill and a talent that you know people like. So just enjoy your strengths and build on those. Don't be afraid to learn, but have confidence in your ability. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic advice. I think you're absolutely you right. Because see, you see a lot of, um, I don't know, the, the, other people are doing everything else and you're thinking well I, oh, I can't do that but actually you need to have confidence in what you can do yeah and for the bits you can't call you <laughs> yeah absolutely or ask I mean, there's so much especially with socially shared there's a whole pool of girls out there all do different things and they're really happy to help and that's, that's so you can there's loads of people you can ask for all sorts of different advice yeah I echo that that's fantastic um so let's think ahead a little bit. If someone was to write your sort of business story, in, in, but they're writing it in 10 years' time, what, what's the story look like now, 10 years on? Where are you? <laughs> well, hopefully retired. <laughs> no, um, yeah. I really want to grow the business and I want to increase the skills and the services that I can offer. I want associates on board. I really just want to really grow yeah grow my offering really um and having worked in a serviced office environment i really like that again that sort of um, office premises um hot desking perhaps and uh, networking but at the moment yeah i'm really keen to grow and increase services that i can offer by using associates and uh, that sort of thing great plans and i think in in the day and age that we're in that you know everything is a bit more versatile and a bit more on the hoof so to speak you're not yes. in one place all the time and we need you know the services of you with the hot desking and all of those sorts of things that would be yes fantastic. yeah really lovely yes so, uh, from where from the original service office facility that i was that i managed it's just it's just a massive difference in the 20 it's just huge yeah i'm sure Change in working environment that's yeah so it's exciting times for for yeah. individuals to the ability to be able to work on their own yeah to succeed on their own yeah wonderful. yeah so how can people get in touch with you sarah um well email uh sarah at my extra colleague.co.uk or uh well telephone uh i've got a website social media isn't my strength um but um you know yeah you can get hold of me on on email or telephone that would be great that's really super. So thank you so much for your time today. It's been lovely and really interesting learning about my extra colleague. And we shall see you again soon. Thank you. Thanks, Sarah. Bye. Bye.